Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays RimWorld. Uh, on the last episode, we had a prisoner try to raid us and then die. That was pretty sweet. I had a good time with that. Um, really impacting the mood for a lot of our colonists here, Austin in particular. He needs some joy in his life, and maybe some beauty as well. He's, he's doing okay on space, though. Like, that's a start. Again, I dispute innocent prisoner died, but anyway. Um... Well, I guess it's because we didn't feed him or give him medicine, so it is our fault. We also are supposed to learn the history tab here. This basically shows us the wealth of the colony uh, in terms of the buildings as well as the items that we have, so obviously we want that to be on the up if possible. Um, we can also look at our population, including prisoners, and we can look at mood. Mood has been uh, dwindling, probably largely due to that colonist death. But I think once we get a joy room set up, there we go, finally they got the, they're burying the colonist here. Uh, in fact, I'm hopeful that that has actually upticked the mood a little bit in and of itself there. Stabilized, maybe? We need to get this mood back up, though. People are gonna be in a bad spot pretty soon. At least he's not in a terrible mood anymore, though. Mathis, the night owl, finally coming to bed. I think the other thing we should do for Mathis is make it so that he considers, um, Cleaning as high a priority as research so that you know all this blood on the ground will get taken care of and now it's time You know the fun part is here. We've already built the infrastructure for these rooms uh, Let's get them set up with Do we have enough wood we might need to cut some more wood But let's get them set up the way that they would want a bedroom to be set up So maybe we'll give them like a double bed cost 70 wood versus 35 wood, you know what? Anything that improves your mood is fine by me Go double bed double bed Double bed, double bed, and then if you guys have, you know, a relationship spawn or something, that's fine. Give you a torch, give you a torch, give you a torch, give you a torch. And you know what? Because I'm feeling like a good dude, everybody's gonna get a table. There's your table, there's your table, there's your table, there's your table. And for now, you know, let's keep it simple. Two chairs. We can always add more chairs later. I'm hopeful that this will, like, drastically increase the comfort of our, um, of our colonists. And then, um, I do want to build, probably as soon as we build a stone cutters table in here, I want to build a, um, a stone joy room. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but, um, we can build a pool table out of wood and cloth once we start harvesting our cotton here and turning it into cloth. Well, when we harvest it, it becomes cloth. Um, and then... We will, uh, hopefully have less on, like, completely unjoyous stuff happening. We do need to harvest, like, some more of this food before it goes bad, for sure. Like, I wouldn't dispute that at all. Um, but I would like this construction to happen a little faster. Like, where, where's my Austin at? What's he doing? Cloud watching? That's fine. Anything that brings your mood up is okay by me. That's... That's like your number one priority right now. Um, we should also, again, issue some orders here. I might be doing this suboptimally, but again, that's why I appreciate, you know, the comments that are going to help me uh, get get sorted on a better way of life here, maybe. And in fact, for now, you know what, Mathis? Don't worry so much about the research. I think that Mathis should be focused on, you know, uh, plant cutting and growing as well, if possible. But where's, where's Mathis at right now? Harvesting potato plants. Sweet. That's fine. You know, right now, the harvest is pretty important, so that... Uh, not only is it important so that we can get this food right now, and of course we're gonna cook it, but... Um, it's also important so that, um... We can sow more plants for the future, you know? We need to harvest it so that we can plant more plants. The growing season is from the 6th of spring until the 6th of... Fall, I think? So we get, like, roughly half the year to grow. Um, but we have to, uh... We have to make sure that we're actually planting so that, you know, things will grow during that period. Once these beds actually get created, that's when we'll, um... That's when we'll assign the beds to our existing colonists and, you know, keep living our lives here. And honestly, the colony's going pretty well so far. I'm hoping that maybe mood has gone up. Let's check the history tab quickly. It's, it's upticked a little bit. Once they get assigned these rooms, they're gonna be in love. I promise you that. Dan's coming in here. He's very slowly building some tables. He's eating some simple meals. It looks like, you know, it's already 7 p.m. I would say it's pretty unlikely that these beds are getting produced today, so... Um, I will learn medical operations, but we're not gonna do it yet. One of the moons... One of the moons of this planet has orbited in front of the sun and eclipse has begun. 
You know, honestly, we might want to, like, seriously prioritize building these beds. Like, Dan, I get it. You're harvesting cotton. You're getting cloth. That's sweet. But, um... I'd really like it if you could also build these beds. It's getting a little ridiculous. So let's, uh... Let's have Dan go prioritize cutting down this oak tree. And at least get, like, a couple of beds done tonight. That's all I ask. What do you mean you need materials? What else do you need to build this double bed? You need 70 wood. That's fine, man. Yo, you want to get the chairs done first? Fine. But it's your problem. You're going to be sleeping on these, you know, cold-ass single beds. Two steps away from uh, Austin and Mathis. Austin's about, you know, a day and a half away from going on a psychotic rampage, burning the whole colony down. You hear that? Lightning is potentially bad. Lightning starts fires. Fires make it so we have to wake up in the middle of the night. Waking up in the middle of the night. Oh, God, we're being raided as well. Um, they'll appear, prepare for a while, then attack preemptively. So we got Oddball Oath. He's got a bad pistol. We got Ulrich. He's got a steel shiv. Um, I hate to do this, but Dan, you're in a pretty good mood. Uh, I'm going to need you to start making some stuff. I need you to make some... Uh, Sandbags. So let's get security. I'm just gonna have you set up like. There you go. It's only 15 steel. I hate to do this, Dan. I really do. But uh, since we're about to be raided, I think this is a strong idea. Mathis is getting up to help too. <laughs> Maybe. I appreciate that. There's a fire. Where's the fire? Do you firefight, Mathis? Mathis does firefight. He's gonna go put out this fire before it burns down our building. Well, when it rains, it freaking pours. Myself. Prioritize constructing these sandbags. This is very important. So sandbags just give us something that we can hide behind. Which is extremely important um, when we're firing guns. So you, you know these raiders are coming down soon. One of them has a gun. We're going to draft uh, our three gun-using units, put them behind these sandbags, and have them shoot at them as they come in. Hopefully it gives us enough of an advantage. I'd really like this storm to be over, though, so there's not a fire in the middle of our firefight, hilariously enough. The raid is going to be starting real soon, though. Oh, my God. The lightning's coming so close. Okay, they're beginning their assault. That means, Dan, you're drafted. Austin... You're drafted. And uh, where where's NL? You're drafted. Son, get over here. Okay. Here they come. Let's put it on speed one for now. As soon as they come into range, we'll take shots of them. Mental break, hide in room. Mathis is hiding in her room. Reason, disturbed sleep. Sometimes art imitates life. Alright, Oddball is in a bad place. If we kill Oddball or injure Oddball, it's possible that Lilith will just bounce. But you know what? I think Dan, I need you to come over here and stop Lilith from breaking our fucking solar panel. What a dick. Alright, straight up. Fire at Lilith. Nice! Okay. She's coming at you, Dan! Fall back to the sandbags. Dan, fall back to the sandbags. Dan! He's trying to run, but he's being stabbed. There you go. Oh, we're shooting at Lilith, too. We're taking Dan out in the process. Okay, okay, okay. They're fleeing now. Honestly, I think this guy should just go. Lilith is dead. She gave us some meals, at least. Nobody over here got injured. Undraft. Undraft. I think we did okay there. Make a quick little grave uh, over here. That's all right. Mathis, Mathis is dazed and confused right now, but life goes on. I think we, we handled ourselves just fine there. Dan took a couple bullet wounds. Let's make sure he's doing okay. He got cut by a shiv. I'm in a bad mood as a result of that. See, Dan's so happy all the time. He got stabbed. He's bleeding. 
He's got trivial blood loss. His pain is medium. That's not so bad. We can set up some operations, but there's really nothing he needs right now. Like We're not going to euthanize him as a result of that. Um, but for real, can you prioritize... Oh my god. Austin, prioritize building this bed, please. We're going to speed up to speed 2 for now. Just go build these freaking beds. The beds need to get built. So that we can actually have people, you know, stay in them. So I think we can set an owner here. So we're going to say, you know what? This first one is going to be Mathis's. Because he's having a mental break right now. I don't know if this matters, but... I, you know, I think it's somewhat important. He, okay, Austin's going to heal Dan. Hopefully Mathis is going to be back on the level pretty soon. Austin, I'm going to need you to prioritize consuming this or creating this other bed if possible. And we still have a lightning storm, so there still could be fires like at any moment, but... Honestly, this is... I wouldn't say it's going as well as I expected, but it's not going badly. Like, this room is actually ready to go if you could just construct or finish one of these freaking beds. They're, they're only taking, like, little baby stacks of wood. I don't know if there's any way I can make them take more wood, but this is fine. Completing Mathis' room is good. Dan's fully healed. We got no problems. We do have low food, but not low enough to be, like, that much of a problem, I think. Just keep chopping wood for now. There's no wood to chop. These trees are not old enough. That's fine. All right. We've weathered our first few storms here. Like, somewhat literally. Austin, can you... Oh, there you go. Yep. Finished construction on this one. You got it, dude. All right. Second one. The second bed becomes Austin's. Because he is oftentimes... Um, not in a great mood. So I think him having some more comfort here is going to be awesome. And he's going to he's gonna build this double bed out, which is great. Then the other one's obviously going to be for Dan. Then we could make this one big hospital and then two prison cells, maybe. Or we could, you know, we are going to need more beds for more colonists. But in the future, it should be faster to just build another room. All right, so this bed. Um, we're going to make this Dan's because he's been through hell. And then the final bed will belong to me. So, Austin, if you could prioritize building this double bed... That would be beautiful. Of course, we got tables and chairs still left to go. But, um... Dan, why are you eating in my room? I guess because there's two chairs there. It becomes, like, the number one priority. Construction failed. Fantastic. It's not like I need anywhere to sleep tonight. Alright. Set owner. NL. Beautiful. Should be good. Now, who, who owns this bed? Should be nobody. Wooden bed. Awful. Owner, nobody. Owner, nobody. Owner, nobody. Owner, nobody. Then we have an animal sleeping spot, which we're going to deconstruct. And I want to see who owns Tiny. Bond with me. Oh, that's cute. Oh, what can I say? I am a cat person. So we'll put uh, we'll put that animal sleeping spot, you know, next to our bed here. Our bed, our bed. Talking about our bed. I, I would like, you know, maybe if people stop eating in my room. I mean, it's nice that it's kind of like a communal atmosphere and stuff like that, but still, like, come on. Okay, low food. We got nine full bars of food. Not enough to feel, like, um, terribly about. Once Mathis gets some sleep, I'm hoping that, you know, he's gonna start to feel a little better tomorrow. And, really, this lightning storm has indicated to me that it's a very smart idea for us to start building our buildings out of stone. I just want all of our comfortable stuff to be taken care of here first. Rainy thunderstorm. At least if there's a fire, the rain will quell it a little bit. It really does work that way. Okay, Mathis is taken care of. Still got nine full bars of food. We just need to construct like a table and one more chair. Mathis is going to come eat in my room. Maybe he's scared of the thunder. That's okay. Quickly go look at the, um, the graph. Look at the moods. Oh, you know, look at that. That was our low point. We have come up about 10%, and that's with a mental break in there. So I think our life is going to be uh, a little easier starting pretty soon. And let's look at the room stats here. It's a dull room. It's mediocre. It's spacious. It's a little dirty, but it's, it's neutral in terms of beauty. It's a start, man. That's exactly what that is. That's a start. And they're all sleeping in their, in their comfortable beds. Let's look at Austin. How's your life going, Austin? Needs. 
Still low on joy, but he's coming up, you gotta admit. He's comfortable. Oh, there's a fire. Uh, it's probably fine. I don't want to disturb their sleep and ruin their mood. We do need to repair our solar panel. It got damaged a little bit. Rain's gonna put it out. Now we should deconstruct this. We can install it maybe in our joy room or something like that. And while we have some wood, let's uh, build a stone cutter's table as we should have a long time ago. Just put that there and we will put another chair there. I'm taking things slow, but I'm doing them right, you know? Making sure that our colonists are comfortable in almost every situation. How are these sandbags doing? Relatively good, honestly. Now, we don't really need a four-bed hospital right now. But two prison cells is not the worst thing in the world. Let's make, like, two of these medical beds for now. And then if we get two more colonists, at least they have another place to sleep. I would like to complete these rooms finally, just to, like, you know, knock it off the bucket list. I can't believe it's still freaking storming here. Alright. I hope our next colonist, if we get one, actually has some construction skill. Because it takes us forever to get, uh, to get things accomplished here. I guess we'll go up to speed 3 as well. But for right now, first of summer... It's gonna get pretty hot outside, but uh, we do have enough steel and enough components actually to make uh, to make another air conditioner, and then we can just establish you know vents between all these rooms, and hopefully our colonists won't die of heat stroke. But it's gonna be pretty resource intensive, unfortunately. All right, so we just uh, built this. Let's add a build to our stone cutter table that just says make stone blocks, and basically do it until you have like 300. Maybe even more. Um, and we can make them out of limestone. Maybe we want to produce uh, our joy building. So let's try this and see if it works. We're going to make a... Oh, we don't, we don't have any limestone blocks yet. Maybe... Who is our best, like, crafter? Go to our character sheets here. Crafting four. Crafting four. Crafting six. Crafting not applicable. All right, so Dan, if we go to your work menu, we're going to make you... A little bit higher priority crafter. And uh, how, how's food doing? Do we need to harvest some more? Yeah, we should probably harvest some more. I mean, like, a lot of this stuff is ready to go. It just actually needs to be harvested. Austin, why don't you... I mean, you're not very good at growing, but why don't you take the food anyway? You know, it's not like you're doing anything else. What's your plan right now? Repairing solar generator. Yeah, big deal. It's not like that's the only source of electricity that's going to allow us to survive the winter or anything like that. Um, and I, I want Dan to maybe prioritize stone cutting. We're going to make some limestone blocks, or maybe, what is he making it out of? Sandstone? That's fine by me. We're going to make some sandstone buildings, and this is going to be our joy building, where we're going to produce some wonderful, uh, some wonderful happiness, and our mood is going to rise, and we're going to have a lot less psychotic breaks. And that's going to allow us to accomplish a lot more work, is my dream. So, uh, sandstone blocks. Doesn't need to be huge. I know we don't have enough right now, but that's okay. Maybe just do 10, 10, 10, 10. <laughs> this is a little unnecessarily cute, I suppose, but that's okay. I like, I like the uniformity of having it all be made of sandstone. And it's going to take a little while for us to work through this, especially with not amazing uh, construction stats. That's okay. Everyone's going just fine right now. I just want to take a quick look at the history tab. Look at the mood. Mood's coming up, baby. We're back in the 40s. Now, of course, that can change pretty darn quickly, but uh, so far so good, I think. Everyone's eating their meals. Food's a little low, but again, look at all these uh, look at all these potatoes we got to harvest. Look at all this rice we got to harvest. Is our refrigerator holding up here? It's five degrees inside. I think that's good. Spoils in six days. Spoils in seven days. What are, let's just try to make it like a little lower and see if it stays good longer. I don't know if that's actually how it works. Now, admittedly, Mathis hasn't gotten a lot of research accomplished lately. He's been busy doing other stuff. Spoils in one, spoils in 11 days, but that might be newer. Okay, you know what? We probably did want to crank our refrigeration down a little bit. 
What if we just make it zero? Spoils in two seasons? Won't spoil? We are geniuses. Okay, so I think that's how we want it, but it is going to consume a lot of power. Just make sure it's able to, to get us through the night. Otherwise, we may need another solar generator. And everything's going okay so far. I would like Mathis to clean this room if possible. I'd also... Oh, we got a raid coming. A group of pirates from the Pistol Men have arrived nearby. Oh, this is like the strongest raid I've ever seen. Wow, also, apparently uh, those lightning strikes caused some pretty considerable problems up here. That's not as far away from my colony as I'd like it to be. Alright, they're coming from that side. We do have some steel. You can only make sandbags out of steel, so there's nothing we can do about that. They're probably going to come through this way. But just in case, let's make five like this. And then like five like this. And we really need to prioritize the, the construction of those, but I guess we'll wait until our units are alive. They're not attacking him. Oh, they are attacking immediately! Wake up, wake up, wake up! Everybody wake up. Come outside. Alright, shit, shit's about to pop off. Even you need to be a part of this, Mathis. So, I just want to spread out our gun users. And then we'll try to manage this on the fly. Mathis, do not stand in front of the gun. I think you might want to rush down the dude with the gun. I believe in you, Mathis. I believe in your power. Dan needs some treatment. Oh, Mathis, you're... Run away. Undraft and escape. Just, just go to the medical beds. Oh, my God. Get out of here, dude. Okay, one is dead. Dan, how you doing? He's injured. Austin's injured. Who goes down next? I think you take the shotgun unit, honestly. They're starting to bring the heat pretty quickly here. Whoa, no! Dan has been shot to death! I don't... I, I can't process this right now. Austin has been shot to death. Okay, they're fleeing. It's just me and Mathis left. How could this happen? Look at the corpses. They've, they've come on so strong. We very nearly died as well. Um, geez, well, this is a uh, bit of a nightmare. I mean, we definitely want the, the pump shotgun. Apparently, it does a, a freaking lot of damage. Uh, well... Hate to say it, but, you know, we gotta move on. I can't believe how how badly that went right off the bat. Now, you guys don't go in the... You don't go in the bad cemetery, okay? You guys did great for us. You go in the good cemetery. Colonists needs treatment. These colonists need medical treatment. Without it, they may die or their wound, wounds may become permanent. What What is our problems right now? Mathis. Health. He's got a bad back. A lot of gunshot wounds. What about me? Some gunshot wounds. Well, you know, we got two medical beds. Oh my god. That was a real nasty star. First off, Mathis, you're taking this pump shotgun, even if it is poor. And then, honestly, you know, rest as long as is necessary, guys. I know, Tiny. I know. What, what are you doing here? Relaxing socially? No, rest until healed. There is no social relaxing. Once you get healed, you can bury them. And then we'll live our lives. But man, what a way to go. Brain destroyed. Well, that'll do it. How about you, Austin? Trivial blood loss, heart destroyed. I guess they just got a critical hit. Now it's just me and Mathis living it up here. And by living it up, I mean probably dying. What it, what's your problem with your mood, self? Witness two of your allies' deaths in a moderate amount of pain, feeling terrible, innocent prisoner died. Uh, I think you'll get over that pretty quickly. Well, 
Oh my god, not a mad animal. A local squirrel has gone mad. It'll attack everybody it sees. Haven't we as a society been through enough? I don't really care as long as it doesn't try to take out my freaking uh, azalea bushes. Where's he going? Don't eat the corpse of Dan Giesling. Tiny, this is just the saddest story of all time. Don't get killed by that squirrel. I don't know if I can handle it, okay? Terrible mood. You know, I mean, that seems pretty realistic to me. That you would have a terrible mood right now. Get this freaking squirrel out of here! Can our colony survive with only two people? Well, it certainly makes food, like, a lot easier to deal with. As long as we have enough people to still harvest, but... Oh! That's a real bummer. I mean, I guess we'll just go, to, go up to speed three for now. Wait till these units heal. Just when I thought we were doing so well. Terrible mood times two. Hideous environment. This place is on bear. Well, there is a lot of blood on the ground, yeah. Experiencing acute pain. Very ugly environment. Is this the end of our colony as we know it? I certainly hope not. Just one, one bad beat and it all goes terribly wrong. Another another day spent inside. That's all right. I'm seeing that health bar slowly tick up. Maybe about to break. Is he one step closer to the edge? Mathis, why don't you why don't you heal me? Cannot prioritize because you're not a doctor. You know what? Prioritize cleaning the blood of Mathis at least. Mathis needs treatment, or he may die of his wounds. Look at that. He cleaned up the blood. Are we all a little happier now? Can we all not go through a psychotic break as a result? Prioritize cleaning the blood of Amathis. He's in a bad spot, man. Cannot prioritize. He's not a cleaner. Oh, no. They could have a potentially violent mental break at any moment. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's like anything that we can do to, to make this happen for them. Disease, infection. NL's gotten sick from infection. I'm sure you have a medical bed and a doctor. Severe illness. Mathis is at risk of death from severe illness. This is like some live, die, repeat stuff. I think both me and Mathis are going to die of infection right now. I hope it doesn't happen, but it may. We can always reload our earlier save. This is why I'm not playing on permadeath. Do not strip him. There you go. Prioritize treating him. Get the medicine. Save his life. Mental break. NL is wandering around on a psychotic break. Well, that's that's fantastic. Oh, this is just like the movie, The Thing. Except no shape-shifting aliens, at least not yet. Mathis has died because of blood loss. That's okay. We can do this. Just us. It's always just been us. Recover from your mental break. You should really eat some food. I mean, we have food available. There's no reason for you to starve. I'll run this whole colony myself if I have to. I'll tell you right now. On Base Builder, they don't send units with shotguns uh, on the 10th the freaking day. It's the rough difficulty that's done this to me. We gotta see. How you doing, buddy? How's your... He's no longer wandering in a psychotic state. Step one, consume simple meal. Poor mood? This does not surprise me. Step two? Con construct these graves, okay? And unfortunately, we needed one more grave than I had originally anticipated. But that's okay. Architect. Miscellaneous. Grave. Get this down here. We need to live for them. We need to live for them. No, don't. I need you to treat yourself. You cannot. Okay, so you may die of infection. That's fairly standard. Um, I would like you to prioritize burying Dan. 
Goodbye, Dan. You did a great thing for us. The greatest... Oh god, that's my alarm. But we got some stuff to do. The greatest of all hunters, Austin. You did some good stuff too. Mathis. Goodbye. We were hospital buddies for a while. Oh, I, I'm burying him up where I meant to bury the people that had actually sinned against us. But sure, you know, no problem. All right, let's prioritize hauling you. Put you in the dumping zone and basically let the vultures pick your flesh. And maybe like a little further away wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Remember, no, do not prioritize consuming the cat, okay? Well, um, I don't know if we're going to be able to survive with just ourselves here. I'm, I'm quite frightened by that. The game really, you know, came at me from a nasty situation there. W what are you doing, me? Making some food? I mean, I feel like it's in the spirit of Rim RimWorld to at least give it the old college try here. We can always go back to a slightly earlier save if we if we want to slash have to, but... Hey man, maybe we can actually get some colonists back here and, uh... And live our lives. But first, let's very quickly prioritize work for uh, ourselves here. Basically, you have to do everything. So, put everything on the list here. We cannot clean. So this place is gonna get real dirty. Um... But everything else is on the list for sure. It's probably good for you to sleep in that bed. Severe illness. No, 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 no. Need doctor. You have no healthy colonists assigned as doctors. They may become permanent. You can do it. Make it through the night. Make it through the night. Extreme on. Oh, no! Everyone is dead or gone. Well, we will go back to an earlier save in our next episode. For now... Oh, this is the saddest story of all. Cat named Tiny has had a mental break because of NL's death. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Obviously, we need to be a little bit more prudent with our defenses. Uh, if you enjoyed it, click the like button. We'll be back tomorrow with another episode with an alternate history. No, this is where the story could have gone if I mismanaged things. Subscribe if you want to see more RimWorld. And I'll see you tomorrow.